Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. It's called Merge Intervals. Let's get started. You are given an array of intervals where intervals of i is represented as start time and end time. You have to merge all overlapping intervals and return an array of non-overlapping intervals. Let's try to take an example to understand this. Suppose we are given something like 1, 3 and then let's say 2, 6 and then let's say 4, 7 and let's say 11, 15. Let me just quickly take another example. Let's say 14, 18. Okay. Something like this. Suppose these are the intervals that are given. So what are we expected? We are expected to merge all these intervals and find out okay, the final answer. So let's take this example. This interval starting at 1 and this is ending at 3. Right? This is the first interval. Let's go to next interval. It is starting at 2 and it is ending at 6. Okay. So in this case, you see there is going to be a significant overlap here between 2 to 3. So what we do? We will not represent these as two separate intervals. Rather, we will merge them. So, we are going to merge these two intervals. So, these two intervals are going to get merged together. So, we are going to take 1. Okay. And then we are going to make it 6. So, 1, 3 will be represented like this. 2, 6 will be represented like this. But both intervals are going to get merged. And it's going to become 1, 6. Okay. Then, let's go to the next interval. So, next interval is 4, 7. Right? So, in this case, you have 4. And in this case, you have 7. Again, you can notice that these are two intervals that are overlapping because there is a common overlap. This is starting at 4. This is ending at 7. right? So, between 4 and 6, there is a significant overlap. So, we will have to merge these intervals. So, let, us, let me erase this. So, all these will get merged. All these can be represented by simply one line. 1, 7. Right? Because, see... The first interval is starting at 1 and ending at 3. Second interval is starting at 2 and ending at 6. The third interval is starting at 4 and it's ending at 7. All these intervals can be merged to form just one single interval 1, 7. Everything will be represented by this simple line 1, 7. Okay. Let's take the next example 11, 15. Now you have next interval 11 which is starting at 11 and ending at 15. Now in this case you cannot merge them right because why you cannot merge them? This guy is starting at 7. Okay, sorry, this guy is ending at 7 and this one is starting at 11. So, when can you merge intervals? Suppose, if this hadn't been 11, right? If it had been somewhere here, then there would have been an overlap. So, for overlap, the simple condition will be, right? If the starting point of this interval, right, is less than or equal to the ending point of the previous interval that we know. That means there is going to be overlap, right? In this case, 11 is starting later. Right? So, by the time, let's say, this interval gets over, right? It gets over at 7. After that, only 11 will start. So, in this case, there is no overlap, right? There is no overlap. You need two different intervals to represent them, okay? Let's cut it. Now, let's see the next interval. Next, we have 14, 18, right? So, 14 is going to start at 14 and this interval is going to end at 18, okay? So, where will we put? So, let's write it. So, 14, 18 will be something like this, 14, 18. So, in this case, there is a significant overlap. Why is there overlap? Because 14 is less than 15, right? So, in this case, 14 will start before, 15 will end later. So, in that case, there is going to be a significant overlap. So, 14, 18. So, we need to merge these two intervals, right? So, again, we need to merge them. So, what we will do? We will start this at 11, we will end it at 18. So, you can represent both 11, 15 and 14, 18 within one interval itself, right? So, just start it at 11, end it at 18 and all your intervals will be done. With just two intervals, two simple lines, you can represent all of these. So, what is the algorithm? It is, it is very simple, right? Algorithm is simple. First of all, See, if these intervals were not arranged in sorted order, then we couldn't have done this, right? So, the simple logic is, first of all, sort by the starting time, right? Sort by whenever the intervals are starting and then follow this algorithm which we just did right now, right? We just compared the current interval, right? So, let me write it. So, you see the current interval, compare it with the previous interval and what should we compare? So, if the current interval starting time, right? Let me simply write it, current dot start, if it is less than equal to previous dot end, that means there is an overlap. That's it, simple logic. Two steps logic. First step is you are going to sort by the start time. Okay. And second is you are going to compare this. And if there is an overlap, if there is an overlap, what are you going to do? If there is an overlap, then in that case, right, what, what algorithm did we follow? Let's see. For example, there is an overlap between 
थ्री सेवन एंड फोर एट राइट सो इन दिस केस वॉट आर यू गोइंग टू डू इफ देर इज अवरलैप वॉट विल दीज टू इंटरवल्स मर्ज एंड बिकम इट विल बिकम थ्री एट राइट सी इट विल स्टार्ट टाइम ऑफ द इंटरवल विच हैड द शॉर्टेस्ट स्टार्ट टाइम एंड द एंड टाइम ऑफ द इंटरवल विच हैड द लॉन्गर स्टार्ट टाइम लॉन्गर एंड टाइम दैट इट राइट सो यू हैव टू टेक द एंड सो यू हैव टू टेक द एंड सो यू विल टेक द स्टार्ट ऑफ द स्मॉलर इंटरवल राइट बाय स्मॉलर मीन्स the interval that is starting before you will take that for example 3 here and where is the ending time it will not be 7 it will be 8 because 8 is ending later right so it will be 8 so that's it now let's go forward to coding it so that we can understand this better okay so in this case we are given intervals okay so first simple thing is we have to sort right so just sort it will automatically sort by the first number okay so let us just sort the interval array so once it is sorted things are going to be simple now let's um, start iterating right so simply for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus so let's iterate over all values so let me uh, declare size int n is equal to intervals dot size okay now let's um, see first of all see let's let's declare a answer variable that answer uh, matrix that we are going to finally return right answer will have finally all our intervals that we have to return so in this case see first of all if answer is empty there is no interval to compare right so we can simply push it in the answer we can push the current interval in the answer for example when you have when you are seeing i equal to 0 there will be no interval to compare to previously you definitely have to take this interval right so simply you can answer dot push back intervals of i we push this now if there is something to compare right in this case so in this case you will simply get the vector that you need to compare so vector int and b is equal to answer dot back no answer dot back is going to give the last interval which is there in our answer right so let's say we are going to get that interval okay now let's say that it has a value it has the ending value right let's re simply represent it by y it has the ending value so v of 1 right let's say it is simply having the value y so we have to simply compare this y with the current interval right so what is this basically n time of previous interval okay now we have to compare compare n time of previous interval which is basically y so we have to compare y okay with current intervals which is nothing but i so we have to compare with current interval is nothing but i we are iterating over i is start time okay so that's it so we will compare it so let's see so what is the current interval start time so it is i okay so intervals of i of 0 right because the start time is represented by 0 end time will be represented by 1 we need to compare the start time so we'll just take 0 if start time of the current interval right if that is less than equal to y right that means our interval is starting okay before the other interval is ending that means there is a overlap right so if there is a overlap what are you going to do you will have to change change v right that's why i have taken it by reference so that i can change it okay i have taken its address so let's change it so what will be v of 1 v of 1 will simply become the maximum of whichever interval is ending right like we have to take the end point of so you have two intervals right like now you are comparing two intervals okay let me take a example let's say you are comparing 1 4 okay and let's say you are comparing uh 2 5 so in this case what will be the merged interval merged interval will become 1 5 right you have to take y uh, you have to take 5 5 is the maximum between 4 and 5 right so you have to take 5 okay suppose if it was something like 1 6 and 2 5 in this case what will it merge and become it will become 1 6 right this these two intervals will merge and become 1 6 so you have to take maximum of both the values so you have to take maximum of y compared with intervals of i of 1 that so now uh, this is fine but if it is not overlapping right this was the case when it was overlapping so let me write it this was the case when it was overlapping if it is not overlapping then in that case you will have to simply push it so simply push it in the answer so answer dot push back interval so i so that's it and finally you can return answer So let me run the code and see if it's working.
okay so there is a error let me just see what is that error so very nice <laughs> this is the stupid mistake that i have made which should be avoided at all cost okay so this is fine this is syntax mistake let's run the code and see if it's working now okay it's fine let's just submit and see if it's working so it's fine that's it thank you for being patient and listening